What's up, losers? Sorry, I'm on a bit of a hiatus. See, I started this podcast because I had nothing better to do, but uh, I've had better things to do for the past few weeks, but hey, here now. Anyways, I want to talk to you about my math teacher again because I, I think she's gone insane. I really do. Literally, one time, someone went in their desk and she went, stop talking. Also, there's a lot of idiots out there who say that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. No, that's persistence, but it's stubbornness, really. But uh, if that is true, yeah, she's definitely gone insane. Yes. After a while, you gotta realize just letting letting your students talk for ten minutes and going, "Hey, can you be quiet?" Isn't gonna work, cause she's done it so many times. That's the only thing she does. And we keep on talking. She's like, "Why don't my students listen to me?" Not like not that she's an idiot for expecting her students to listen to her, but if your first method of getting your students to listen to you don't work, try a different tactic, one that's actually good, like my English teacher. She, I don't like her very much, but yeah, she can get us to be quiet sometimes. Often when I look, often when I think about good leaders, I think about Napoleon. This is going to sound so stupid, equating my math teacher to Napoleon, but give me a second here. He, he commanded loyalty, like all of his, all of his soldiers loved him. And that's how, you, and that's one way to get people to respect you and listen to what you say. Be one of the boys. Be one of them. Be friends with them. She's not doing that now. And dude, she, I, I'm bringing what I said in the first time back. She just sucks so bad at teaching, and she always blames her problems on us. Like, yeah, sure, we're most of the problems. Probably. But I don't act like you're completely innocent. When we're when you're just sitting up there going, so uh you move the X over here, Y you, times A, A sigma and then cloud room. You don't expect us to listen. You probably didn't listen to that. But uh yeah. And also, dude, it's gotten personal at this point. Because I believe one of the worst insults is calling someone a liar. And she called me a liar. Like, literally, she was gone one day. And she lets us listen to music. So I was listening to music while doing the work that she gave us while, while she was gone. And she was like, no, you... You didn't do the work, because I looked at your search history. You only listened to Elvis. Like, you do realize you can have more than one tab open at once. I wish I would have said that to her. I really do. I, oh, I didn't I think of that then. Don't you just hate it when you get into an argument with someone? Then, like, five hours later, you just think of the ultimate comeback? Dude, that has never not happened to me. Is it? No, I'm not going to go down that route, actually. So. And dude, now at this point, as soon as I walk into her class, it, it I don't know how, but just hatred boils inside me. I feel nothing but loathing for everybody in there. Now, am I perfect? No. I'm not better than anybody in that classroom. But man, I still hate them when I'm in that classroom. Just something fills me with just despair and anger. I'm taking Adderall. I don't think it's working. And that means I'm incompatible with it. And when you're incompatible with it, it can rot a hole in your heart. 
there's been days where I've forgotten to take it and I feel perfectly fine. And then there's been days where I did take it and I've just been felt constant heart pain all day, like right now. I don't know if that has anything to do with it. it might just be like the placebo effect. Well, I wouldn't I would be lying if I didn't if I said I wasn't a little concerned. Oh yeah. I'm re- I feel really proud of me today cuz I actually got up and was like I'm going to do something. So I vacuumed. Like I actually cleaned my room. And uh I wish I would have put this up in a way that, where y'all could see it when I'm filming, but uh, I put, got these new nice shelves and put my Legos on it. Just wanted to talk about that. It's, it's nice. Wagon wheel. And it wastes enough toxin. A pet on the cup you go. I was going to film it yesterday, film this yesterday, I really was, but then my friend was like, oh, you want to go do drugs and do, and that almost, almost docks myself, you want to go do drugs, and it's like, what, yeah, so I did that instead, I'm going to be a super battle droid, it's not a podcast if I'm not here twiddling with this. Ignore that. Bye, nice and time. It's fun. So, uh, I was just sitting around one day and I was like, you know, the FNAF books were actually pretty good. And that's coming from someone who hates reading. So I actually just got me the book and I started reading it today. Not as good as I remember, but still good. It feels nice just sitting there in the quietness, just... Reading, get invested in the story. It especially feels good for my tinnitus to not have something blasting into my ear. But, uh, yeah. Mm. I thought it'd be a funny idea to do the part where I make fun of my friends and issues I have with them. But I can't think of them right now because I'm in a pretty good mood, all things considered. I wasn't yesterday, so I probably would have made this podcast a lot better to see me really mad just venting. Honestly, it's been a pretty nice day. Got work done. Yeah, I usually just sit around all day playing video games. When I don't do that, it feels amazing. That is a loud car. Y'all better not have heard that or I'm going to hit you. Because it's your fault. You probably don't even know what I'm talking about. Because you probably didn't hear the loud car. So, one podcast episode, I talked about the story I'm writing called Ugly Busters, and I thought I'd give you an update on it. Uh, I gave up on it again. It's it's really boring writing. You gotta, like, actually think, and I don't think. It's hard for me to do that. So it takes a while to get a paragraph written. But hey, if I ever do get it finished... I'll read it for y'all guys. Like I said, I ain't got to just make podcast episodes. Well, yeah, here's an idea. These get double-digit views, and I get comments from the same three people. I love to hear y'all guys' opinions and ideas. Give me ideas for things to do. It's like I said, radio silence up here. I'm sure there's something going on in your head. Probably, I bet. I'd imagine you're a functioning human being who has an actual working brain, unlike me. But comment an idea you want me to do. Please. I beg of you. Uh, come on, just hit ten minutes already. We ain't got that long. So, like... 
you know how the Confederates, back in the Civil War, they're like, we're seceding from the Union and starting our own country, and then they wrote Dixieland? Imagine how they felt when the Union's turn around, heard about that song, it's like, you know what, let's make a way better version. Listen, I might be from Dixieland, but the Union Dixieland is way better. Anyways, video's 10 minutes now, so I'm gonna leave y'all here. Ouch, my back hurt. Oh, I need to pop my back. Anyways, later. Uh